Hello and welcome back to activity 5.2 from topic 5, the internet and its uses. We're going to be looking at the blockchain. This question, a blockchain has seven blocks. Draw a diagram to show how they are all connected to form a blockchain network. And then we're going to describe what would happen if block 4 of this diagram was just drawn um, was hacked to change the sum of money in the transaction. And then we move on to question 2. What are the main differences between digital currency and cryptocurrency? So as you can see, I've drawn a diagram here, okay, with the seven blocks. The first block being the genesis block, and this starts with the number zero, 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 four zeros. Um, that's my block one. And then I've got the other blocks um, after it. As you can see with the diagram, a block contains its own unique hash number, but it also um, includes hash numbers from the previous block. Um, it also includes a timestamp to show when it was created, i.e. the date and the time. Okay, so let's have a little look at block 4. Block 4 has got the hash value 2DFA, and then it's got the previous value from, um, from block 3. So, if block 4 was hacked, it would change the hash value, and then this would make the fifth block and all the following blocks invalid, because, of course, block 5 has got the previous hash value and if these don't correspond then there's obviously a problem and then that would change block five and that would have a knock-on effect with block six and so on and so forth so forth so the chain would become broken um, and the transaction would become invalid okay so it would be easy to spot because there's so many people have access to this blockchain that it would be picked up straight away so it is very very difficult if not impossible to hack a blockchain Question two, what are the main differences between digital currency and cryptocurrency? Well, number one, cryptocurrency is decentralized and doesn't rely on centralized banking systems. So instead, the cryptocurrency uh, relies on um, cryptography, so there's a type of encryption um, to track these transactions. Um, three, cryptocurrency uses a blockchain technology, which we've just talked about. And the question, for, and then, um, Fourth difference, cryptocurrency transactions are publicly available. Um, anybody who's got access to the network can see the transaction. And these can be tracked and, uh, and monitored um, and make sure everything's secure and everything is, is running appropriately. Okay, so cryptocurrency is very, very safe. Okay, will it replace digital currency? Um, who knows? Maybe in the future. We do not know. But don't get confused with fiat currency because fiat currency is actually the pound notes and the coins in, in your pocket. Okay. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I would be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.